taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. So, like, see, we're back with another Zen crypto video, guys. And we're going to talk about Zen and the fact that the price has been falling a little bit. But I do believe we're going to get a turnaround for the simple fact that we are going to be seeing many burn projects coming as you can see here many exciting zen burn projects are coming you know what they are we talked about a few of them on the channel okay guys um the price as you can see is uh you know it has been trending down okay um this pattern i would normally see this could put in a double bottom okay it could put in a double bottom and we could see this uh, begin to move to the upside again i do expect that we will still touch the top of this wedge at least and hopefully we'll potentially get a breakout of this wedge okay guys but we are kind of failing this trend line a little bit but it is the weekend we're starting to see some green okay but it is the weekend um so the volume is not too high i do want to see us remain above this area but even if we don't okay i don't want to see it come down below this level okay um we've had a touch down here i expect to see us get a touch up here and potentially break it okay what i think is going to happen is because once again we have many burn projects coming so one of them i talked about um a few days ago was zen doge okay guys so zen doge is going to be launching i'm not sure when the actual launch is for zen doge actually but if you haven't seen my video on zen doge i do recommend you go and check that out okay guys if we go to my youtube studio i do recommend you go and check this video out because i do uh, cover it um um i do cover it uh to at least some you, you can get some sort of understanding of what this project is about and um, i do go over the details in that video so go and check that out on my channel but yeah this it will probably be a bullish project i said that i expect it to potentially do something like the likes of what we saw pepe do and when i say what we saw pepe do i don't mean you know that it will you know very quickly in about five days reach the same kind of market cap as pepe uh i think that's sitting at about 110 million i've actually bought some of that token as well because you know i don't want to miss out on potentially the next shiba in you but this could definitely produce those sorts of gains as well especially if you're in early so there is a a bonus for uh burning zen to get into this early all of which i've covered on the previous video okay guys so go and check that out um, not only that, but we also have the Phoenix token. Okay, so Phoenix, I talked about the fact that this was launching on Polygon. So that should be today. If it hasn't already, I haven't actually checked. But this will also be launching in two weeks on Ethereum. Okay, guys. So in order to get into Phoenix, you need to burn Zen. Which is why I think that, you know, we're going to see price movement, at least on the Ethereum, on the Ethereum version of Zen as well. It's just my opinion. It's just speculation. Doesn't mean it has to happen. It's just what I believe. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I believe that that's potentially going to happen. Okay, guys. So I've also been getting more mints in. Okay, I've been getting more mints in and I've been doing NFTs. Um, this is the Binance chain. So I've started now to mint some Binance NFTs. Okay, uh, Zen NFTs, Centurions. How do you do that? Okay, guys. So there is a cheap way to take advantage of the... Uh, there's a cheaper way to get cheaper gas fees because when you press Mint, for example, right? If you come on Mint Zen NFT on Binance, Collector, okay? Max VMU, 475 VMUs, virtual minting units, you can actually mint on Binance. Okay, guys? Now, when you mint, it's going to charge you around about $100, okay? Uh, it's going to say 0.28 BNB right here. Okay, so we're going to reject that because 0.28 BNB, if we do a calculation on that, right? 0.28 BNB is around about $100 at the time of recording this video. $90 has come down a little bit. Okay, however, if you just change the GUI, right? Go Mint Zen NFT, uh, Max, everything Max, right? Mint the Zen NFT, right? And then you change your GUI. You edit your grey, go to edit, change your grey to, from free, okay, the gas price, grey, from free to one, okay, sorry, not zero, one, make sure it's one, uh, 1.01, 01, okay, 
It's going to say insufficient funds because I've not got enough money in. I've just literally done one a minute ago. And it's the second one that I've done with this strategy. But if you change your gas to around 1, 1 1.01 or maybe 1.1, it will give you a different gas fee. Okay, guys. And that gas fee will be approximately 0 point, uh, 0 0.09. Uh, so approximately $30. So you can mint it for, for the third of a price. For, for a third of the price, you can mint these NFTs on Binance. Okay, 473 VMUs, right? Uh, if I show you uh, this one I just did now, okay, I've got two here. Uh, so this one's saying about 8 billion Zen. But we do, we look at the one that I did a couple of days ago. And that's gone up to 14 billion Zen. Okay, so if we work out exactly how much we're expecting right now remember this is binance zen okay so around 14 billion zen for 30 dollars okay in 473 days if the price remains where it is remember the price is moving constantly right even right now we've seen it starting to move a little bit all right guys now this is one of the least popular it's not being moved it's not even pumped like the way we've seen the polygon zen m zen pump for example right but you can see right here in this wallet um b zen if I work out exactly how much is 14 billion, is it 14? Let's just uh, 14 0 2 9 4 8 4 5 7 5. Okay, 0 2 9 4 8 4 5 7 5. We're looking at 3.79 BNB for $30. Okay, if it remains the same in 473 days, that's what I could potentially have 3.79 BNB. That's $1,223 worth of. Binance uh, worth of BZN. So that is uh, why I think it's a good idea to do it. And um, I do believe that by then we would see this liquidity would have grown a lot. Okay, it would have grown a lot. And you'd probably be able to sell a little bit more easier. Uh, or you can burn Zen. I'm sure there'll be more projects out later on down the line. You can burn Zen to get into other projects. Okay, guys, so that's why I wanna increase my minting strategy. I also wanna do Polygon. I haven't done Polygon yet. I have done a bunch on Avalanche. Let's just show you what that's looking like. So I've done a bunch of NFTs on, on Avalanche. Okay, guys, um, we've got pages and pages. All right, so I'm keeping myself busy. All right, um, I wanna stick to my strategy. And on Avalanche, I basically did mint, so I'm collecting some Zen, uh, a Zen, literally every, on the 25th of every month, basically, for the foreseeable future, at least up until the max that you can, can do it, okay guys, so that's my strategy, and um, yeah, now I moved over to Binance, I did Evmos as well, um, how many did I do on Evmos? Um, because I basically, I got some Evmos in the airdrop a long time ago. And I did a bunch of Evmos and NFTs as well, or NFTs. Okay. Um, if we could just refresh that. Okay, Evmos is moving a little bit slowly. Okay, guys. But, um, yeah, you can see what I'm up to, basically, in a nutshell, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's my strategy. And, um, yeah, I moved over to Binance now. I'm going to be doing some some more of these. Of course, it's a little bit more expensive. On Evmos, it cost me about $0.50 cents per NFT. On Avalanche, it costs about $6. Over on Binance, if you use my strategy, you're getting it for about $30, maybe $33, something like that. But it's better than paying a hundred dollars, and you're getting a lot more VMUs. You're getting a lot more minting power for that as well. So, um, yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, bullish on Zen, uh, bullish on Zen Doge. Again, go and check out my Zen Doge video if you want a little bit more of a deeper look into what it is and um, how we can potentially profit from that. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.